Hi there, this is Justin Chainer from the Low Branch Shop here at Schmidt Music. We've got something very exciting to show you today. You know, over the past few decades, we've seen a lot of innovation in, uh, you know, bell manufacturing from French horns, trombones, and tubas, uh, the most notably being cut bells. You know, this has really increased the portability of instruments, but also changing the timbre and the uh, resonance that those instruments have. Well, today, we're seeing a new innovation in euphoniums from our Dutch manufacturers at Adams. Here we have an E1 euphonium with that 60 gauge, uh, but also with a cut bell, much like I mentioned you see on French horns and trombones. Uh, you know, one thing we've noticed from this instrument is that it changes a lot of the way the instrument reacts, the way it plays. Uh, we'd like to give you a little demonstration of what that sounds like. <laughs> So, like you heard from those previous recordings, you know, the instrument has a beautiful sound to it. I would say it's far more direct than uh, other euphoniums, you know, uh, especially with the airflow. It feels like it wants almost like a tenor trombone or a bass trombone flow through it, rather than this normal uh, diffuse airflow that you'd use for a euphonium, like a very wide, very open. Uh, I've tried using a standard standard amateur standard airflow through it, and it just gets stuffy. It just doesn't respond. But with this cut bell, it really allows it to sort of shimmer and blossom with this really quick, uh, quick airflow. Uh, another great thing that Adams is doing here is that they're using a gold brass bell on this one rather than uh, the standard yellow brass. Um, I think what that does really helps to kind of get some of that warmth back into it. One thing that we don't think they've done with this particular prototype is to bring down the weight of the bell. On a lot of different ones, uh, especially French horn and trombone, you know, they're offsetting that extra weight that this collar has by using a lightweight bell. We think that they've used the standard bell on this, and I think that's something that's attributed uh, to that sort of different airflow. Uh, another thing you heard is that low range, especially the low range and the upper range really have this nice shimmer to them, like very strident, almost like I said, trombone, bass trombone-like. Uh, another thing I've noticed about this instrument is that articulation is very crisp, very clean uh, with it. So, like I mentioned, this is still in the prototype stage. Adams is still doing a lot of work perfecting this sort of model. Uh, they haven't created any sort of extra case for it. You know, that's one of the big things that people have liked uh, with the cut bell stuff. Uh, but, you know, we're really excited to see where Adams is going to go with this, and hopefully some other manufacturers are going to be looking into the possibilities of what the euphonium can do. You know, this design has stayed stagnant for about 50 years or more, so it's really refreshing to see a nice, uh, nice innovation there.
So if you like the video, feel free to subscribe or hit like. Uh, follow us for more uh, videos on trombone, tubas, euphoniums, all that sort of stuff. Thanks for stopping by and have a good day.